And still on Jamhuri Day, December 12th marks the very important day in Kenya's history. It is one of the three days stipulated in Article 9 of the Constitution in addition to Madaraka and Mashuja Day. But as Kenyans celebrate this day, one question that begs is whether the national values and the principles of governance enshrined in the Constitution have been observed and promoted. The following report has the details. On 1st June 1963, Kenya attained independence and on 12th December 1964, the country became a republic with the late Jomo Kenyatta as the president. We must show the world that some of them have been wrong, that some of them have misunderstood us, and it's only by our actions they will know that we mean business. Brothers, I think I have spoken enough in this language. It is not my wish that I should be speaking to you in a foreign and for that matter in colonialistic language. <laughs> Since then, Kenya has had 11 elected governments, including the current Jubilee government. Four heads of state, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, Daniel Arap Moy, Mwai Kibaki, and President Uhuru Kenyatta have led the governments. This year's Jamhuri Day is the fifth to be celebrated under Kenya's constitution that was promulgated in 2010 and touted as Kenya's 21st century's dawn. The 2010 constitution was proclaimed as victory for the people of Kenya to have for the first time made their own constitution in Kenya and like the independence constitution that was negotiated between Kenya's political leaders and the outgoing British colonial government at Lancaster House in London. I will obey, preserve, protect and defend this constitution of Kenya. And as the country marks the 51st Jamhuri Day, it is imperative to reflect on how Kenyans have fared so far. Further, it is important that all Kenyans rededicate and recommit themselves from the president to every ordinary citizen that they shall in all their endeavors abide by, uphold and promote the full spirit of that constitution.